How y'all doing out there? I left Lane here to come make another video. It is October 30th, 2018. It's a Tuesday morning. Um, this is the uh, Tennessee South Carolina review. Um, I know I didn't do the Alabama game, uh, even though I was there. I just didn't feel that it was necessary. Um, I'm trying to get the camera adjusted here. Obviously, I'm very um, disappointed with the outcome. Um, this game should have been won, and we gave it away. You know, there's been a lot of talk this week about, you know, the defense. Well, Jared Garantano in particular, you know, him not being a great quarterback, held the ball too long. Um just a number of things um, I really don't know what to, what to think at this point because you see the Auburn game and you think wow he's finally turned the corner and then I just don't really count the Alabama game I know it counts as a loss but I just don't count because you just can't I mean they're just they're, they're leaps and bounds we're not even on the same field as them so I you can't compare that. But you could this game. Um, they made the adjustments at halftime. Um, and you know, ultimately they won. Um, you know, Keller is a good option. But in four games, possibly five, he's done. He's done with his college career. Um, you know, we've got... We've got a couple of freshmen that you might, I think you could see on the field because they could play four games, these last four games, and it won't affect um, their eligibility, you know, to redshirt. Um, so let's get into the stats. There's a couple of stats that are going to stick out like a sore thumb. Um... Time of possession, 38-33 to 21-27. You hold the ball for 38 minutes and you lose the game. That There's just no excuse for that. Uh, first down is 23-19. Um, 10 rushing, 2 penalty, uh, and one, um, 1 penalty. Um... South Carolina, 19, or I already said 19 first downs. They had 12 rushing, 6 passing, and 1 penalty. Third down, something I've preached from the beginning of the season, and they did it phenomenal. They were, I think, South Carolina was ranked number 4 uh, in third down defense, and they went 11 for 16. And South Carolina went four for nine. Uh, we were 0 of two on fourth downs, and they were 0 of 0. Uh, total yards 351 to 376. Pretty well matched there. Um, total plays 73 for 4.8 per play, and South Carolina was 376. Um, no, 56 for 6.7 per play. Um, rushing 144 to 224, that's 4.2 per rush and 5.6 per rush. Uh, passing 207 to South Carolina's 152. We were 27 of 39, that's 5.5 per completion. And they were 11 of 16 and 9.5 per completion. Um, sacks, believe it or not, we were only sacked twice for five yards. And we sacked South Carolina one for eight yards. Stat of the game. This is the stat of the game. Um, penalties. Nine for 75. And two for nine. Uh, I want to go ahead and get into this right now. I'll finish up the stats here in just a moment. Um, we were driving. I think we were up by five at, the, at that point. No. 
I don't remember what the score was, but we had yeah, we were up by five, and we had it for we had it in the red zone, and I believe it was Callaway. Yeah, Cal Marquez Callaway gets an unsportsmanlike conduct call against him. That moved us back 15 yards, and we had to settle for a field goal. And I knew at that very point we were in trouble because we couldn't stop them. Our defense could not stop their offense. You know, so it was going to be a shootout. And when you're in a shootout, you've got to score a touchdown every time you have the ball. And when we only went up by eight, I knew we I knew things were going south, and they went south in a hurry. That was that 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 penalty was the turning point in the game. Because we were on pace to score another touchdown and then go up, I think, by twelve again. Um touchdowns, we each had three. Uh we didn't turn the ball over and they turned it over once. Uh, individual stats, Jared Garantano was 27 of 39 for two touchdowns. Uh, Tim Jordan had 12 rushes for 62 yards. Ty Chandler was 11 of 54. Carlin, Phils, and me had three for 20 with one touchdown. Uh, Marquez Carloway was nine receptions for 86 yards. Uh, Ty Chandler was seven for 29. Jawan Jennings was three for 26 with one touchdown. And Eli Wolf had one reception for five yards with one touchdown. Um, South Carolina, Jake Bentley, 11 of 16 for one touchdown and one interception. Uh, Rico Dowdle, excuse me if I mispronounce his name, had 14 rushes for 140 yards and one touchdown. Tyson Williams was 13 of 34 with one touchdown. And Mo Denson had... Mo Denson had six for 30. Um, Bryson Edwards had three receptions for 96 yards. And Tyson Samuel had three receptions for eight yards with one touchdown. Those are the stats. Um, like I said, the stat of the game was those penalties. Um, I mean, it killed us. Uh, you know, even on that last drive, you know, we were fourth and five. You know, we... You have a lot more options when you're in fourth and five versus fourth and ten. And then, you know, we turned it over on downs and couldn't stop them uh, to get the ball back. Um, so that was your, those are your stats. Um, you know, up until the fourth quarter, I saw improvement in this team. I, I saw a team that was competing um, and could have won another game in the SEC and then the bottom just fell out. Um, that defense is, is not where it needs to be. I mean, I just don't understand why, you know, Pruitt with his defensive back, and obviously I know he doesn't have the players, couldn't make some kind of adjustment to stop the run. They knew the run was coming and they couldn't stop it. They knew they were going to run the ball and we couldn't stop it. It's just, it's very disappointing um, I don't know what to expect out of these last four games. I'm pretty sure we'll go over on Charlotte. But the last three, I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. You know, Kentucky's probably going to beat us. So in order to go bowling, we're going to have to beat uh, Vanderbilt and Missouri. Um, so... That's the game. That's the review. Um, you know, good. I mean, I it was a good game. I enjoyed it, but you know, we just defense just caved, and it just reminded you of the defense we've had the last two years. Just everybody just lines up and runs right over us. You know, we're obviously going to have to. We we need recruits, and but I think if we can't get to a bowl game this year. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt in recruiting. Because if we can get to a bowl game, then we're like, okay, you know, team's improving. Let's go there and make them better. Uh, but I know Pruitt will do a, a phenomenal job um, getting the guys to come here. Um, I just uh, just wish we could have come away with the W. But 
We'll look forward to next week, to the next game against Charlotte. I think kickoff is at 3 o'clock Central Time. Um, anyway, that's the review. I appreciate y'all watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time.